so if you guys want to say anything, I'm vlogging today, so. Oh, oh you are? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and welcome to my channel so today I decided that I'm going to be vlogging my day because today me and my family will be attending the Enova donor celebration event with Haiti we are gonna be celebrating all the donors who have ever donated at Enova Hospital and just celebrating everybody that has ever donated I know the process isn't easy and we are very grateful for what you guys have done and for risking your lives and just being so selfless to just help us out we are very grateful we love all the donors and we couldn't be any more grateful i know i keep repeating myself but i just don't know what else to say but to say thank you for what they have done for us so we are going to be going to this event it should be nice um it's 10 o'clock the event starts at one and i live kind of far away so i plan to leave around 11 30 and i'm going to be going with my family we're going to be there with Haiti and I'm excited. We have a little surprise for the donors too, guys. We are gonna be writing little notes and I also sent pictures to the coordinator and hopefully she puts them on the slideshow of the process Haiti went through. So I'm super excited, I'm gonna be vlogging it and then after tomorrow, it's Anthony's birthday. So you guys are probably gonna come with me and see what we can find him. We don't really do gifts like that and also I'm kind of on a bu budget, not gonna lie. So I kind of want to do something creative for him. So we'll see what I come up with throughout the day. I'm going to be thinking and we'll see, you know, what I could come up with as a gift. Guys, I just looked back on that footage of me just talking and I noticed that the camera is like really zoomed in. I didn't realize that I hadn't like the lens zoomed in. So please don't mind my face all up close. By the way, guys, it's now 1041. I only have about 50 minutes to make breakfast. So I made these beans yesterday. They're pinto beans. And then I made this at 5 a.m. because I make breakfast for Anthony. Lunch, sorry. So we're going to have some plantains and a guacamole. While I'm waiting for my plantains to cook, I just have them on low heat. I'm gonna look for, I'm gonna look and see what I'm gonna wear. So, you are not wearing that. I like it. No. Yeah. So, I'm gonna wear heels, guys. Be extra. But I think I'm gonna wear something that I got. I got heels too. I think I'm gonna wear this dress. I got heels too. It's just a simple dress. I'm looking like heels. I, should I be extra and wear these two? I might just do that with this dress. Ooh, I'll look extra like fancy probably. Or I might just be classic and wear my boots. We'll see, we'll see. Back to this food before I burn these plantains, which I think I already might have. A little burnt, a little. But I'm gonna still eat them. I'm gonna have some beans and rice. Psych, I'm not gonna have any rice, just beans. Modele, abuelita, modele. Modele. Wow. She's looking gorgeous. She's looking gorgeous. Okay, I am rushing against time, guys. This is my breakfast. Platanos, aguacate, and beans. Emery has the same right here. We're gonna eat, guys. Yeah. What? <laughs> she just walked down the stairs and said, I look gorgeous. You do look gorgeous. 
Okay. 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 So I'm gonna try these on. I'm gonna try these on too. Which ones? What else? I think those are the only two options. I might try on those two. We'll see. Guys, I'm all ready to go. So this is the outfit, guys. This is just a plain dress with my boots. And sorry, guys, this is such a weird angle because I don't have a mirror. This is the only mirror. It's like a $5 mirror from Walmart. I need to go buy myself like a big mirror because I really need one. So, yes, I just went simple. I'm like over here trying to get down on so you guys can see. Do you want chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> have her to sign her first name okay. and just put recipient and you're gonna sign your first name and put donor, okay? She's the no, she's the donor. She's the donor and uh -huh. you were just with her? I'm the recipient. Okay, so just mm -hmm. put your first name and recipient, okay? okay? How are you guys doing? How many vouchers parking vouchers do you need? Two please. No problem. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you look good, Rava. Such a beautiful event. Many of you may know over 600,000 people in the United States on dialysis, 100,000 of which are waiting for a transplant.
some extra voters down here you actually, you know, here, you're being treated here, or you went to no process here. We didn't even realize it until later. Yeah, because I know that she didn't mention it. And I didn't ever, like, I didn't tell my daughter that I was involved in it. Because I'm also the type of person that I'm like really quiet and like I get shy easily. But so I was like, I'm not gonna say anything. They wouldn't like pay attention to my camera because I'm kind of like. I don't know. 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 So I'm home now guys. It's already 6.22. I want to quickly talk to you guys about the event. Oh my goodness guys, the event was amazing. It was so beautiful. I left that place with my heart full completely. Like it was just amazing. I was able to hear stories and testimonies of different people and it really impacted me and touched my heart and just reminded me of what we are all going through and that we are not alone and it was just amazing oh my goodness my eyes were like watery throughout the whole event also my families because those stories just brought back so many memories and it was just amazing to hear everybody and i also got to meet such an amazing couple samantha and kevin it was beautiful you guys have an amazing story they are subscribers of mine they said they had been watching my journey they didn't know i had my transplant at innova and then later they found out um, that i received my transplant from there and it was perfect because they used my YouTube channel as a guide, sort of, to see what the process was going to be like of the transplant journey because it's not an easy journey and not that many people really show or there's not that many people that share their journeys in the specific detail and the way I did and vlogged it. And it was just amazing to know that I was able to inspire them and help them and guide them. And it's just so beautiful because their story, their husband and wife and the wife was able to donate to him and they were perfect match. He was doing dialysis and thankfully she matched perfectly and he's on his road to health and wellness and he looked so healthy. And I'm sure like before he did mention he was looking really sick and discolored and it was just amazing to see how god turns you know the negative and turns the hard into a beautiful testimony and i was so happy i was able to meet them i was so happy i was able to learn a little more because you literally learn something new every single day and when i was listening to my doctor and my surgeon dr wally and dr Piper speak it was beautiful because i felt like I gained more knowledge also the other people that were there giving speeches and everybody's testimony was so beautiful there was one that I quickly want to mention about of this woman she had donated to her brother a couple years ago and then years later she gets a call from her son and finds out her son now needs a kidney that he was on end stage renal disease so imagine those are like those stories that you just hear in the movies or on tv like you donate to somebody and then all of a sudden your child needs one and you can't because you had already given your kidney to to someone else you love so imagine like what they were going through and to hear their story it was very empowering it was just amazing to speak to everybody and to be in that atmosphere of just people that are very grateful to be alive and to be and very grateful for the process god is taking them it was just amazing and beautiful overall i am so thankful to god that he allowed me to go and allowed this to be my life you know me sharing my kidney disease journey and my journey to health and wellness because it's a difficult life you know we go through a lot of ups and downs but god is carrying us through it god has given us the strength and we still have that push and that push is honestly the loved ones that are surrounding us, the life that we see is so beautiful around us that we're like, okay, we need to, we need to push ourselves. We need to keep fighting for our, even for our own selves and keep seeking the better us and the better health for our lives. So it was just so beautiful. I'm so, so, so thankful for that. And so thankful that I was able to meet Samantha and Kevin. It was just amazing. God bless you guys. If you guys are watching this, I truly enjoyed talking to you guys and I enjoyed everything about that event. It was just amazing guys. So yes, it's 627 guys. 
I, the, the event ended at 3 o'clock, but then I came home and I just rested. I laid down because I did get my biopsy on Wednesday. I know it's Friday, two days after, but I was still feeling a little tired from it. I don't know. I guess I just haven't been sleeping good either. And I don't know why, but yeah, I haven't been sleeping good. And I was just really tired. I didn't nap, but I just rested. And then I wanted to film this, kind of talk to you guys a little bit more about the event because I was able to vlog like parts, but I didn't want to have my camera out the whole time. Like, oh, just talking to a camera because I do get shy sometimes. And also, I'm, I don't really tell that many people that I have a YouTube channel um, unless like you guys obviously know that I have a YouTube channel because you guys are watching me type thing. But it was a blessing for my life and I'm so grateful, guys. And meeting people that watch my channel and to see how grateful they are because my videos were able to help them it truly truly gives me more of a desire to keep pushing and putting videos out for you guys I feel so blessed that i can help you in one little inch of your life or one little part or one step it's amazing and it's a blessing guys it's a huge blessing i'm sorry guys i'm just like ranting about like the situation because I'm just like so like shocked about it. It was beautiful guys. I just can't stop saying that because it truly was. Sorry guys, I just keep ranting. But anyways, I did have planned to go and look for Anthony like a gift or something, but honestly, I'm tired. I don't even feel like leaving my house. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow. He is gonna come over, so we'll see how that goes. I miss him. I wish he could have been there with me, but God knows best. He has to work. Yeah. <laughs>